with one week. What? How are we getting so close right now? What? Charging needed to get to destination. Is there anywhere to get a little bit of charge? Fortunately, what would Elon do? We did find the chargers. <laughs> I don't want you to have range anxiety. Maybe the best picture I've ever taken in my life. Welcome back to What's Inside Family. Today I am in random middle of nowhere, Texas, because I wanna go to Starbase. I wanna see where Elon Musk builds the giant rockets. I don't have special access, so this is going to be the real experience that you would get if you came down. The only thing that I do have that you would not have is I kind of have a special tour guide. This is my friend Anwar Beck. <laughs> You've seen Anwar Beck in tons of our videos before. Whenever I go to Austin, Texas, you've never been to Starbase. I haven't. All my friends expect me to have been there, gotten a tour, but. The great thing is the only other time I've seen a Tesla rocket was with this guy, but it was in Florida and we watched a rocket launch in the air and then come down and land back on the thing. Dude, was, is that, that the only crazy. time you've seen a rocket yeah. launch? Yeah, 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 definitely. The only two times in his life that he's gonna see a rocket is both with, with me. I feel pretty honored because he gets to do a lot of cool Tesla stuff. So anyways, we're gonna get on the road. It's about a five and a half hour drive from Austin, Texas to Brownsville, Texas, which is in the southern, southern, southernmost part of Texas. Let's get on the road. Let's go find some rockets. Let's show you Starbase. There goes my hat. Charging stop number two. We are getting close. This is a long drive. If you're planning on coming down, get ready for a long day, especially if you're driving a Tesla and have to supercharge. Ooh, free mattresses. What? They're not gonna fit it in that car. Look at that guy. He's looking at the mattresses. Look at him. <laughs> it is very hot in Texas right now, and there's all kinds of fires. This is the fourth one we've... What? It's a thing of hay on fire! There's bales of hay being transported on a giant trailer. Somehow, that caught on fire, so the truck unhitched from the trailer and drove away and just left the flaming hot bales of hay in the middle of the road. There's lots of fires, it's really hot, and it turns out it's really, really dry in Texas. I thought it'd be so humid that I'd barely be able to breathe outside because it'd be so humid, but it's actually very dry and there's a lot of long grass. miles away, I see the rockets. Oh my gosh, this is a bucket list thing to check off. <laughs> I can't believe it. this is so crazy, dude. Dude, it's literally like on the road. I can't believe it. this is so crazy. Dude. This is very sandy. <laughs> Starbase! We have like two minutes of sunlight. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, we're driving down this road right now. I feel like we shouldn't be able to be this close. I don't even know. This is private property over here with this little, I don't know, what is that house from Ho The Hobbit or something? Oh my, amazing, incredible. How are we getting so close right now? What? What? <laughs> what is happening? There's big old rockets just right there, right in front of us. Wow. This does feel like something straight out of a movie, straight out of Star Wars, straight out of Star Trek. So now we're going to the actual launch site. That's the production facilities where they make all of the rockets. But when they take them off, they do it down here at this next spot that we're going to. Um, they've taken some off here. They're now building the thing to catch the rocket when it lands. Crazy, they're gonna catch it. That tall one, they're gonna put right next to this. There's a base for it for this framed up station that you see. And then they're gonna put one of these rockets on top of it. So that looks pretty big, but once they put the two together, it's gonna be massive and it's gonna be amazing if they can get that thing to space and then the booster come back and land on some ship out there and then get this thing to fly off and do its thing and come back. It's gonna change the game. It's gonna change the game for everything we know on Earth about flying rockets. We were a little greedy. Charging needed to get to destination. It says we'll have minus 3% when we reach the supercharger. Well, they have a wall up. That's somewhat of security there. <laughs> what is that van with all those cameras on it? 
weird. There's some dudes working up there. A bunch of compressed helium and different rocket fuel that they need. And then right when we drive past it, we're on the beach. We're like literally on the beach. There's the ocean, there's the Gulf of Mexico. Right there. <laughs> sea turtle nesting area. Don't drive over any sea turtles. No, I won't. I already don't use straws for the turtles. I'm not gonna drive <laughs> over them. Look at this. <laughs> This is legitimately a beach right here. We're on the beach. There's people that are just been out here swimming. And then there's the rocket where it takes off right there. Beach, rocket, what a cool spot. So even if you come all the way down to Boca Chica just to see the rockets, bring your swimsuits and go swimming. This is real life right now, right behind me. The sun just barely set, but it has this perfect color gradient on the sky. We've got our black Tesla just sitting out here. This is where they take off and so far have crashed a lot of rockets right here. Let's see if we can find a charger down here because we're in trouble. It looks like there's some kind of like restaurant or meeting space for employees. There's food trucks but it says private property, no trespassing. Those cheeseburgers look good. Yeah, let's ask this guy, pull up to this guy. Hey, do you know, is there anywhere to get a little bit of charge? It says if we drive from here to Brownsville, we'll be minus 3%. <laughs> and I'm like, if we even got a trickle charge for like 20 minutes, I think we'd have enough. Unfortunately, negative. negative. Just for employees? Only for employees, and they have that locked down. Okay, well thanks for your help. We'll see if we can Very make cool. it back. So, okay. Uh, okay, we just met a really nice security guard and they, they do have it locked down. Even though we can get close to things, there's a lot of security guards here. And the cafeteria, the food trucks are all for employees here. They deliver foods throughout, food throughout the day and night to, to employees. And then he says there are a ton of Tesla chargers here, a ton of them but they are all locked down to employees only. There's no chance that we could use it at all. So, we did find the chargers. They're behind a fence with security. We're in the public area right now, I'm pretty sure. And even if you look in the reverse camera, look at that. Chargers right there, rockets right there. It's kind of under the fence. If we grab it <laughs> and plug it in, <laughs> I mean, I feel like the worst thing that could happen is they tell us to unplug and go. But other than that, like, do you get a ticket? There's no sign that says no charging here. What would Elon do? Elon would, if Elon was here right now, I feel like Elon would say, you know what? First principles. <laughs> I right don't there. want you to have range anxiety. We're not even using these chargers right here. We'll give you a couple, like 20 minutes of charge. 10 minutes? I, I think I'd take 10 minutes. Charger, 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 charger. All those chargers. Rocket station, rockets. Oh, those look beautiful. This is the public side of the property. Oh, there's a sign right there. What does the sign say? Oh, the sign says anti-drone area. I do have a drone. I am not gonna fly it. Right behind you right now is the RV park where a lot of the employees stay when they're here because they work here because there's really nothing out here. Like, what better preparation for being on Mars than being right here at Starbase in Boca Chica where there's nothing around. This is just like the movies that we watched today. This is the home base for multi-planetary transportation. Like people could be flying to different planets, different universes from here. It's possible, it never would be possible unless crazy people like Elon took the risk the cool thing for me is that I've done a few things with NASA before we did the NASA social where we went out there, they had us out there for a few days. It is like a military base when you go on there, which I think it is actually military. They don't let you take photos or videos in certain places. The security gate to get in there is miles away from where the actual rockets are, where they take off or anything. In fact, even on the bus, they got mad at me for sitting in somebody's seat. Come on, just make sure that he doesn't come back and run that. I didn't know there was a sign seating. I mean, there was no. It was crazy. I'll link the video down below. I didn't really outline everything about how bad NASA was to work with and to be with, but coming here, it's a different vibe. It's everything that you expect from Tesla and the culture that's there. 
but it's in the space rocket company side of it. And it's just something that comes from Elon. Nobody is as far along as what Elon Musk has done here at SpaceX. It's not even close. And it's because they're okay with failing at times. Elon's okay taking risks and he's good at pushing his team to get things done, trying new things. It's kind of a breath of fresh air to come out here and see what SpaceX is doing and to see these rockets and stand less than 100 yards away from these massive, massive rockets that will be going up in space. It's innovative and it's changing the world and hopefully this is changing humanity and the universe. Starbase, let's go up to it. Let's see the Starbase. Oh, it's solar panels on top of it, smart. There we are. This is the S of Starbase. This is how big these letters are. They're ginormous. Are they six feet tall? Let me stand by this one. Can confirm the Starbase T is taller than six feet. And I hear a weird screaming noise. What is that screaming noise? The night mode on the iPhone is insane. It's not even edited. You see stars, you see the moon. Maybe the best picture I've ever taken in my life. We need to go charge this car and uh, hopefully we can make it. <laughs> Good news, everybody. We have one mile remaining. We made it, we drove very, very slow. I can't believe we made it. It's 10 o'clock at night right now. We are in this random small town. SpaceX, you guys are amazing. Elon, keep doing the work. We will be back to Starbase someday. I highly, highly recommend all of you watching this channel, if you have a chance to go to Starbase, go check it out, it's amazing. All right, we're gonna sit here and charge for like an hour and then go find a hotel here in Brownsville. It's charging at 250 kilowatts, 1,020 miles an hour. We've already gained 26 miles in the last like five minutes of charging here. 32 miles, it just barely went from 30 to 32, just like that. Let's see how long it takes until it goes up to the next one. 34, just like that, two miles of range. That is definitely something that Tesla has on pretty much every other electric car. That is some fast charging with these new batteries. Are you, nice. on, are you on Instagram? Am I, am I on Instagram? Do you do follow Instagram? I do. Yes. Follow Super Tesla Geeks. And this guy has a YouTube channel called What's Inside. Okay. This is one of the biggest YouTubers oh, in the no. world. No, no, no. no yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> Super, it's called Super Tesla Geeks. Yeah, I'll follow you back. For sale by owner. What? <laughs> How is that land for sale right there? We need that land. I think you need to contact Matt Home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What is that screaming noise? Woo! 